So, ladies and gentlemen, it was just CM Punk's UFC debut. And what most people thought was going to happen actually did happen. Now, I kind of was not hoping for that outcome. But, like I said, what most people thought was going to happen did happen. Now, uh, you know, watching the Embedded series with... uh, you know, CM Punk and the actual, like, documentary, ser- documentary series they had with CM Punk, uh, I start to really root for him. I, I really start to go on ahead and really uh, hope that he, uh... oh, my goodness, it was, <sighs> anyways, man, first round, Goss submitted him with 214 in the first round with a, uh, he just, he, he choked him out, and like I said, what what everybody thought was going to happen did happen. As soon as the fight started, Gaul immediately, I mean, CM Punk came charging directly at Gaul within the first two, three seconds, just, just bull rushed him. And Gaul goes for a, a, a fake overhand and immediately goes for a double, a double leg and takes him down and just started pounding on him from there. And unfortunately, CM Punk, didn't get an opportunity to fight on the feet, got taken down immediately, uh, and he was in trouble from as soon as the bell rung. He he was in trouble the entire fight. Uh, he just got pounded on. The very first strike that Gaul hit him with was vicious. I'm talking about he took him down, and the first he postured up for a quick second and laid down. A punch with such viciousness. Oh, my goodness. Now, I mean, that's what happens when you have somebody with limited mixed martial arts, um, you know, experience. You go up against somebody who's been doing this for, you know, their entire life. And, uh, you know, CM Punk has been training for two years. But it's just unfortunate that it's just it's not enough. And a major factor of not having any type of MMA or uh, just any type of mixed martial arts experience is the is the ground game. I mean, let's be honest. Anybody can get lucky and just and and throw a punch and land, and you can knock somebody out. You know, so uh, they always say the the saying is a is a is a puncher's chance, right, or puncher shot. Uh, so God knew exactly what he had to do. He had to take him down to the ground. He has limited experience there. And uh, I believe Gaul's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. So he's just going to go on ahead and uh, basically just bring CM Punk to his weakness. I mean, in two years, it's tough to go on ahead and really build up enough experience to really, you know, deal with somebody uh, who's a, you know, real MMA artist who's been doing it, you know, their entire life. So just a, a tough debut uh, didn't really get a chance to see what CM Punk could do in a striking game uh didn't really get an opportunity to see anything he was just taken down snapple finger when i say immediately i mean immediately now CM Punk said in the post fight um interview that it's not his last you know he definitely uh doesn't plan on this being his last so uh we'll see you know what type of uh what type of fight he may get next. We'll see if Dana White is going to, you know, keep him on. I know um, Brock Lesnar had, you know, other opportunities. I know there's uh, there's people like, um, what's his name, man? He fought in UFC 118 against um, against Randy Couture. The box, James Tony, you know, lights out Tony, you know, had just one fight and that was it. He wanted to continue, but, but Dana White wasn't having it. I mean, I'm interested in, in seeing CM Punk some more. Like I said, really following. Uh, you know, I don't know much about him from wrestling. Uh, never really watched uh, wrestling in the past, like, 10 years. So, I know he turned out to be, like, a mega superstar. So, I, I really didn't know anything of him. But just watching him in the Abedit series and watching the uh, the uh, documentary that they had on him on the UFC YouTube channel really had me pulling for him. Like, I was really, really pulling for him. And it just sucks to see the fight end so quickly and in a way where we really didn't get to see his training pay off. I mean, uh, you take a look at his at uh, the footage on the UFC channel 
of him and he works hard you know he definitely puts his time in the gym working hard working a lot and unfortunately we just didn't get to see any of it pay off it just ended so quickly and the takedown happened so fast and um it's just unfortunate now mickey go i'm starting to like this kid in the post fight uh interview he uh, goes on the head he calls out sage northcutt and i think that right there would be a really 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 interesting fight the more I watch Gaul, the more I'm starting to like him. Uh, and we'll see. I think if that fight happens, that's a real good, interesting fight. Gaul against North Coast. We'll see if that happens. I'm pulling for that. I'm actually hoping that happens. So, um, Just a little disappointed in the debut of CM Punk. Like I said, I would have loved for um, the fight to go longer. Maybe see you know CM Punk get some strikes in get his confidence up but what i thought was going to happen happened I, as soon as the fight began i'm like okay you cannot allow this guy to take you on the ground because he has a severe advantage there and you know you can go on ahead and and like i said land a, a lucky shot that can end somebody's night but it's highly unlikely you're gonna you know land a a, a a lucky submission or or get yourself in a in, in a lucky position against somebody very skilled on the ground when you're not so it sucks man i was pulling for punk I, it was it, it I, what i would have loved to have you see this video game footage i was wishing something like that happened but unfortunately it just did not but anyways man that's the end of the video uh it, it sucks to see cm punk lose so quickly Sucks to see him lose in a way that I was envisioning happening, but didn't hope it happened. And it, it just, it like I said, I was pulling for him, man. I really was. And I was hoping he can somehow catch lightning in a bottle with his first fight. It was just rough. But hopefully this isn't the last we see of him. I'd love to see him again. He's a little up there in age. He is 37 years old. I don't know how um, really motivated he is at this age to, you know, continue. But... We'll see. Hopefully he does continue because I'd love to see more of him and, and hopefully he can go on ahead and get back in the octagon and, and uh, you know, actually perform better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So far, CM Punk in his octagon debut 0-1. And, and like I said, hopefully it's not the last we see of him. See you guys next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. Appreciate the support. Peace.